uh, Jordan Love, uh, Tarver, and um, and Dax Raymond are definitely the uh, the stars of the offense right now. Uh, maybe a, a running back will emerge. Um, another receiver needs to emerge. Uh, Scarver maybe can be that guy. Uh, as much impact as he had last year, he only had like 11 catches last year, I think. So if he can get up to 20, 25 catches this year um, with his speed and, and deep threat ability, that would be huge. So uh, look for that. Defense, um, Tipa Nalia is going to basically play every every play. Um, Suli Tomvena is as well, um, inside linebacker. Uh, Tipa can play inside or outside depending on the formation. They kind of play a 3-3-5 three, three, um, base, and so Teep is a little bit more off the, uh, you know, he's one of those three linebackers, um, along with Woodard, uh, Woodward, and so they've got those three guys, um, they've got Christiansen that's coming in, he's one of the outside linebackers in some packages, he looks like a beast this year, um, he's bigger, faster, it looks like, so... Um, that's something something to look for. I think Ingram will be in there uh, no matter what. I like how Haney's looking. Um, uh, so it, whether Ingram is safety or cornerback, he'll be in there. Um, like I say, Haney will be in there. I think Williams will probably find a spot if they play five defensive backs. Um, Rockamore has been with the ones. <clears throat> so there's definitely some interesting... Um, Formations. I think the defensive line is good enough. I was I was worried that the defensive line was going to struggle a little bit, um, but I think with the guys they've got um, and the experience they have, I think they'll be okay. Uh, the defensive line doesn't have to, to get all the, the pressure or the um, the sacks or anything like that. Uh, they just need to do their job and and uh, and do well well enough to help those uh, those linebackers and some of that um, scheme and blitzes and that kind of thing work. So, um, I think overall, the Aggies looked really good um, this spring. Um, the biggest positions, as Coach Wells mentioned, biggest positions of worry. I'm definitely worried about the outside receiver position, um, especially after uh, Scarver, I think, has shown he's a playmaker but needs to take a step up. Uh, Tarver needs to obviously be more consistent and be in every game, every play guy. And then um, Dax Raymond, obviously, is a, is a guy that is going to be counted on. It's going to catch a lot of balls. They're going to have to use him a lot, even if they bring in uh, another JC receiver and a couple high school kids. Uh, there's definitely going to be um, some opportunity there. And, uh, and so we'll see what happens as far as, you know, a true playmaker. They need, you know, four or five outside guys. Um, I think the inside is taken care of with, um, with the three or four guys they've got there. But the outside receiver position is definitely the most up in the air as far as talent. You know, they need those new recruits to come in. Uh, I think a running back is a bunch of talented guys that just need to, you know, one guy needs to differentiate himself kind of uh, solidify some roles on the uh, in the running game so that'll be interesting to watch those linebackers um, there may be some other movement as far as those defensive backs safeties and and cornerbacks there may be some movement obviously on um, with running backs uh, there has to be movement with the uh, wide receivers because they just don't even have enough bodies there. Uh, they need more guys. So that's about it. That's all my uh, thoughts. Thanks for listening.